Assalamualaikum and a good day to everyone. Today's topic will be accounting classification and accounting equation. So let's begin. The objective for today's topic are identify the elements in statement of financial position and relate to them with the accounting equation. Second is identify the effect of business transaction on accounting equation. Okay, so before we go into accounting equation and the statement of financial position, the basic thing you need to do are the accounting classification. So we have three basic accounts. First is assets. Second is liability. The third is honest equity. So these are the three basic accounts that you need to know and understand before you can go into the more detailed, more expanded accounts. Okay, so the first one is asset. So asset can be defined as property or wealth owned by the business or economic resource which are of value to the business. So asset is the business properties or wealth. Okay. So, asset itself is divided by two categories. First is current. Second is non-current asset. So, current asset means our asset that are either cash or those that can be converted into cash within one year. Okay, one year or one accounting period. So, these are a few examples of current asset. Account receivables or debtors, cash in bank, your cash in the bank, cash in hand, the cash you, uh, the cash you have in your current uh, position in your hand, prepaid expense, accrued revenue, and note receivable. So these are a few accounts which will you, uh, which you will uh, found in the in this course uh, further. Okay, so the second category is non-current asset, which are asset acquires or bought not for resale. They are used not for resale, but to be used in the running of the business. Okay, so the non-current asset are asset that you use for the business operation. It has a useful life of more than one year. So that's the difference. Current is one year, non-current is more than one year. So, non-current asset divided into three categories. First is tangible non-current asset. Second is intangible non-current asset. Lastly is investment. Okay, let's look into detail what does it mean. So, tangible non-current asset means those assets which have physical existence. For example, land, building, machinery. Okay, so yes, uh, non-current assets are for tangible uh, assets that have physical substance, physical assistance that you can touch. Cars, building, anything that has a value more than, more than one year. For intangible non-current asset, those assets with no physical existence. They are still non-current, uh, which is more than one year, but they don't any they don't have physical uh, substance. You cannot touch them. Example: our franchise, goodwill, patents, and trademarks. So, for example, if you look at this uh, picture, Adidas. So, Adidas itself is a brand. Brand itself is a value that the company holds and as an asset. But you cannot touch the brand Adidas. But it's there. It's a value to the company. Lastly is investment, which means the sum of money placed in other organization in the hope of getting more money in the form of return. Example, quoted un and unquoted investment and fixed deposit. So investment itself like shares. You bought shares from others company which you uh, want return in the future. Okay. So these are the simple summarize of an asset. Asset itself is divided into two current asset, non-current asset. And non-current asset is divided into three categories: tangible, intangible, and investment. 
understand? Okay, so this is our first basic account. So let's move on to the second. Okay, so the second account is liabilities, which can be defined as a financial obligation of the business to external parties. Uh, in simple form, it is a debt. It's the company's debt. It's the business debt to outsiders. When you make a loan, you borrow money. You borrow money, so it's under liability. So liability itself is divided into two categories. First is current. Second is non-current liability, just like assets. So current liability is an amount owned by the business that is to be paid. Within one year, meaning the debt you have to pay within one year on one accounting period. Example is like short term loans, bank overdraft credits, or account payable, not payable, accrued expense, or unearned revenue. Accounts that you will find further in our course. The second category is non current liability, which is an amount owned by the business that is not. Repaid within one year, meaning the debt itself is more than one year or one accounting period. Usually, the amount will be huge. That's why it's more than a year. Examples like long-term, long-term loans, mortgage on premise or debentures. Okay, these are debts. Liabilities are debts. Okay, the third uh, account is owner's equity, which is the financial obligation of the business to the owner, among which the owner have invested in the business. So, owner's equity is when uh, the obligation of the business to the owners that they have to fulfill. The owner's equity is divided into four minor accounts. First is capital, resource supplied by the owner. The second is revenue, which is money or some equivalent value that a business receives in exchange for providing a goods or service or through investing capitals. Third is expand, it is the cost of operation that a business incurs to gain revenue for business growth. Last is drawing or withdrawal. Occur when the owner takes whatever assets of the business for his own use. So, what can you uh, differ from these two four accounts is that capital and drawing are by the owners only, while revenue and expense happen because of business operation. Okay. So that's the difference. Capital and drawing or withdrawal owner only. While revenue and expense are due to business. Okay. Business transaction. Okay, so this is the simple uh, summary. On this equity is divided into four small accounts. So capital is due to owners bringing in money to the business. So this will increase our uh, assets. We will increase our assets and also increase our owners equity. Where revenue is uh, an increase due to business operation. So this will increase our honest equity. The third is expenses which incurs, which happens due to business operation, such as electric bills, water bills that the business have to pay because of business operation. They deduct our honest equity. Lastly is drawing, which is uh, withdrawing or either withdrawal, which is when the owners take out asset f 
from our company like for example when the owners take cash for their own use so that is drawing happens due to owners taking asset so revenue and expense also can be simplified as either profit or loss okay so net profit meaning when when revenue is bigger than expense net loss meaning when revenue is smaller than expense okay so those are the three basics account that you need to understand to uh, calculate or do accounting uh, further in the future so let's look at for accounting equation okay so now we're going into accounting equation so it's asset equals to owner's equity plus ability please memorize this this is the accounting equation that you have to know so accounting equation is the foundation of accounting it explains the relationship between asset, owner's equity, and liability. Basic equation associated with double entry accounting, also known as balance sheet statement of financial position equation. The equality always maintain balance. What you have to remember is that they are always maintaining a balance regardless of the number of transactions recorded. Any change in the amount of total asset is always followed by an equal change in the amount of total equity and liability. So if you look at this equation, when there's a change in asset, there's either a change in uh, honest equity or liability or a change in both. But the end result is that both sides are equal. So when asset is one, this side also have to be one. Okay, so let's move on. Remember the equation. Okay, so asset is as stated before is the resource of the business equals to resource supplied by employed by owners which is the owners equity uh, sub uh, account will be capital so when you expand itself plus resource supplied by others which mean external party, external parties uh, that applies liability so the owners equity is also included others small account Okay, it also can be written like this, asset equals to capital plus profit. Profit happens when revenue is bigger than expense plus liability loss happen when revenue is smaller than expense. So withdrawing is asset equals to capital plus profit uh, minus drawing because drawing reduce our honest equity and plus liability. Liability is always a plus in this equation. The same with loss with that, it's just different in this minus and plus, okay? So this is the further expansion of the equation. Finally, it will look like this. Okay, this is the final expansion of the equation. So, you need to memorize it. So, this is all honest equity. Look at the same color. Okay, these are the basic forms. Basic forms. But this is when you expand. Okay, so let's do a little exercise. Example, fill in the following based on the accounting equation. So asset is 45,000 while liability is 12,400. 
So, what is owner's equity? Owner's equity plus celebrity must equal to asset. So, how much is owner's equity? So, owner's equity is 32.6. Okay, so if you plus 32.6 plus 12, you will gain 12.4, you will gain 45. So that's how you make the equation balance. The same with the second example. How much is a set? Understand? So, how much is liability for the third one? This is simple math. You just have to make the equation balance. Okay? I don't think this will be an issue much. It's just simple math. You have to balance the equation. Uh, it will be correct if you, the answer is equals to asset. So if you don't understand how each of these uh, question is answered, do ask. This is the simple equation that you need that you need to know, so that uh, in our further chapters you won't struggle. Okay, so let's move on to the effect of transaction on the accounting equation. So every transaction will have a double effect on the accounting equation. Double effect. There will be either an increase or decrease in asset, expense, capital, revenue or liability. Okay, so for example, if you... Uh, Purchase or pay, okay, pay for a bill, uh, bill, ex, uh, bill electricity expense, okay. Example, pay for electric expense. So, you can see the expense itself is a capital, you know that, but you pay. When you pay something, you reduce your asset because you have to pay cash. Cash is asset. So when you pay for the electric uh, expense, your asset decrease. So asset decrease. Uh, but, but you have to pay for the electric bill, which also cause a decrease in the Owner's equity. See? Double effect. There will always a double effect. There, there, there will never, never be a single effect. There will always be two account, accounts affected by it. That's you, you have to remember that two accounts is always affected. In the accounting. Okay? So let's move on. Okay, so financial statement. So, the statement that I have introduced you in chapter 1, I guess. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Okay, the first is statement of financial position, which uh, includes asset, liability, and owner's equity. The statement itself has detailed expression of the accounting equation. So, the uh, statement, the report, is a report for of the accounting equation. So the second is statement of profit or loss.
statement of business given on a date showing the detail of revenue and expense and the end result shows either the company has a profit or loss okay so that's in the profit or loss statement okay so this is the simple form that you can see this one is the statement of profit or loss and this is the statement of financial position okay so that's the end out for chapter three so for chapter three i know it's a lot to understand exercise is needed and question if you, if you have any please ask okay that's all for me thank you